Hello, Kerbal Space Program fans. This is a dauntingly efficient 5-ton circumnavigator, theoretically capable of circumnavigating Kerbin around 45 times. There are three small circular air intakes. One of them is permanently fixed to the craft outside of the dragless shell. The other two are attached to a hinge so that they can be occluded and unoccluded through the save and load glitch. Once the Panther engine gets up to speed around 25 meters a second, only one small circular air intake is necessary to fulfill all its requirements. At takeoff, the two small circular air intakes were extended outside the dragless shell and then saved and loaded. Right now, the opposite is occurring, where the two small circular air intakes are already inside of the dragless shell and then it's saved and loaded. At this point, two of the three small circular air intakes are occluded, not producing any drag. Now the craft is essentially dragless, with the heat shield wing and the air intake being the only two parts producing drag. This dragless configuration is made possible by using an engine plate as the initial part, enabling the shroud through attaching a part at the end node. With the shroud of the engine plate enabled, any part attached to the nodes of the engine plate are now dragless and can also be anywhere on the craft and be dragless. Attaching a dragless shell to one of these nodes of the engine plate and then occluding the engine plate inside the dragless shell produces a fully dragless cockpit. To my knowledge, the Goliath engine would be the only engine in direct competition with the Panther for circumnavigation. And also, the Goliath engine, from my experience, is not able to be occluded. So this design, being dragless, is much better than any Goliath design. With all the fuel tanks centered over the mast, I could essentially walk away from the keyboard and allow this craft to level itself. And after 12 hours of me doing laundry, doing the dishes, eating, um, and then I finally went to bed and I woke up to this, um, right in time to uh, get the final um, screenshot here. So if you do the math, that's around um, 50 circumnavigations, but I really wouldn't trust the ground distance there of 189 million meters. My previous design for maximum circumnavigation had almost five times as much fuel and also landing gear that was staged off after takeoff. After testing that craft, I determined that it could possibly circumnavigate Kerbin up to 300 times. For this design, I decided to stick with a vertical takeoff and landing, also using Val's parachute to assist in the landing. The command seat is attached to the hinge along with the other two air intakes and the battery, I believe, um, to increase drag when it's in this mode. The hinge is actuated through the up and down translation keys in the axis group. Right now the hinge is actuated to around 90 degrees to keep the parachute above the craft. Because of the angle of the command seat, now I have to manually guide the craft back to the KSC. For landing, the hinge will have to be actuated all the way 180 degrees so that the air intakes are facing the engine going retrograde. This sort of renders the parachute useless, which isn't really a problem anyway, since quick saving in this mode also renders the parachute useless. This is after a quick save, and you can see that the parachute is not generating any lift, or in fact there is no lift mentioned in this menu for bow. This is just a sample landing, however, you can see I have a ton of fuel left. I woke up to the craft crashing into the water, um, as I previously stated. In retrospect, landing gear may have been more efficient if I could have figured out a way to get a runway takeoff that would have required a larger fairing and maybe some pistons to actuate the landing gear in and out. Um, but for now, this vertical takeoff and landing design will have to do and um, I must be honest that the uh, parachute is becoming kind of a gimmick of mine.
I hope this design inspires future Kerbal Knots. Happy holidays, and thank you for watching.